Giga Texas is 98.8% done, but who cares? Let's go nuts on the rooftop solar panels. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. A big thanks to my newest Patreons, David McClure, Focus on Being Green, Ryan, and Walt. Thank you guys for choosing to support me. And for everybody else, please subscribe and bell and smack the like button early so YouTube knows to actually show this video to others. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Yeah, there are a lot more windows this week, new pavement where I suspect the loading and logistics lot will go, and plenty of earthworks and other progress around the site. But that isn't very exciting. So let's talk about the solar power generation possible from the rooftop installation. Let's get the progress graph out of the way real quick first. Yeah, it looks great, inching up nicely. My very first tracker from back in 2020 suggested a completion date of December 16th of 2021, and it seems that's about around the time they started production, so I'm happy with the result, even though work still continues. To my credit, we had no idea back then that they'd be filling the entire emerald footprint on the first phase of construction, so that should explain at least some of the delay. So, how much solar can a roof like this hold? Well, the research is tricky to track down since nearly all the top search results, regardless of what you type in, point to for-profit companies desperate to get your address and sell you an actual system for your actual rooftop. I don't need that. I just need to know what the generation capacity is for a single area. Well, I had some help from one of my viewers. Let's get some very rough estimates here. The roof is 390,000 square meters, of which we could use a maximum of about 350,000. Yeah, 90% may sound high on account of all the events and whatnot, but there really aren't very many of those when you look at the total site. Austin, Texas has a 5.366 kilowatt hour per square meter per day incoming solar radiation, daily average over a year, according to the U.S. National Solar Radiation Database of 2020, and solar panel efficiency in capturing solar radiation is about 20%. So the maximum daily electricity production would be a maximum of 375 megawatt hours per day on average. At 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that would be a savings of 37,500 per day. At 5 cents, it'd be 18 grand a day. And if we're off by double, it would still be 10 grand a day or $3.65 million a year or, you know, 7 million or 14 million. So to be clear, the range is three and a half to 14 million per year in electricity generated, saved, and never required from any source that could possibly use any fossil fuels. Well, what does a factory actually even use? One estimate said 94 kilowatt hours per square foot per year. Well, this factory is almost 9 million square feet, so that would be 855 megawatt hours per year. That 375 megawatt hours per day we discussed, which was, as I remind you, a maximum, would be 137,000 megawatt hours per year, or about 16% of the total power needs of the factory, or half that, or half that again, depending on the various factors. So it's a small number, but efficiency aside, the biggest limitation is the amount of sunlight actually falling on the roof. Covering the parking lot could double that figure, though at a significantly higher cost, since a simple rooftop mounting is much cheaper and easier than an elevated canopy. Whatever the case, the bottom line is that this is happening, and whatever benefit is realized will be a net win. 
So here's the completion figures as of today, and a reminder that I'll be revising the calculations in the future to give more weighting to the interior aspect of the completion and afford more time for that, since so few countries are, well, China. This will continue slowing until mid-April when the math finally hits 100%, but it really doesn't matter at this point since we know they're actually making cars already. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. And let me offer a giga Texas size thank you to my Patreons who get early access bonus content and those at the Coolio level and above who get a look at my 11-year production estimates in Ultra Bear, Bear, Neutral Bull, and Ultra Bull cases. Yeah, I track it that far out. My numbers are just that good. So thank you guys all so much for your support. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots. I don't know, in Texas?